I wonder if you know what the county motto for Kent is. That's right, if you're from Kent or you've been through, you'll know that the, the motto is Invicta. Do you know what that word means? The word Invicta uh, has Latin roots and it basically means unconquered, undefeated. Uh, there is a county that claims to be have been unconquered throughout the ages. I'm not sure whether that's because they managed to repel all uh, invaders and incomers or because they actually just compromised and sued for peace very quickly. Uh, but that's the claim that this is a county that has never been conquered, never been defeated. Of course, the only truly unconquered and victorious and supreme county in the United Kingdom is the great county of Yorkshire. Uh, we all know that. Uh, the the county that, if it was a country, would have uh, been high up the medal charts in the last two Olympics. Um, but I'm, I'm getting distracted here. Today, we want to think about that word, conquer. Uh, our theme for this little series in 1 John is that love conquers fear. And we've talked about what love is. Uh, we've also talked about what fear is. Uh, but what does it mean for love to conquer fear? What is this conquest? What is this victory, this overcoming? Well, let's read from 1 John chapter 5. Starting to read at verse 1. And remember, we're reading from the English Standard Version. And you can find that on BibleGateway.com. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except, or if not only, the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? In verse 4, everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory. This is the conquest that has overcome the world, our faith. What does John mean by that? Well, let's just go back to the beginning. Uh, John starts by reminding us uh, that we belong to God's family. And the way that we belong to God's family is through faith. It means that we must believe in Jesus Christ. That's repeated at the end in verse 5, uh, that we are the ones who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And as we saw back in uh, 1 John 4, when we looked at the test uh, for knowing whether something was from God or from Antichrist, whether it was true, uh, we saw that that belief that Jesus is the Son of God, that belief in him is a belief in the historical fact that God uh, incarnate came, uh, that the Son dwelt among us, uh, took on human nature, fully God and fully man, lived a life of obedience to his father, died on the cross and was resurrected from the grave, ascending to heaven again and sending the Holy Spirit. And in his death, our sins are forgiven as he took the penalty of our sin on himself. And his death and resurrection, uh, sin and evil, death and the devil, are defeated, are conquered. So everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. We were brought into the family. We love him. We love the Father. And that then is seen in our life, in our love for each other. And again, John emphasises uh, that we are to show that we belong to the family, show our family likeness by love. 
Now, notice that in the last section, in uh, previously when we talked about commandments, back in an earlier chapter, uh, we saw that we show our love for God in our love for each other. Now, here John mirrors that and says, at the same time, the way that we love others is by loving God and obeying his commandments. It's as we love God, as we honour and glorify Jesus, as we therefore point people to the gospel and then need to be reconciled to God so that we love and honour him, that we actually express our love for them. And so love is seen in keeping the commandments, and we've seen specifically that that commandment is the commandment to love. Uh, Going right back to the Old Testament, Uh, the summary of the commandments is love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and mind and then to love your neighbour as yourself. Uh, And John says this isn't burdensome, this is not a heavy legalistic weight, this is what we should be doing Uh, and this is what should come naturally and what the Holy Spirit enables us to do. So here is love, uh, love for God and fear is being conquered. Why? Well, fear is to do with condemnation and judgment. And there is now, according to Paul, no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So God's love poured out into our lives and demonstrated in the change that it has brought is an assurance that we belong to the family and are no longer judged or condemned. And that's why John can talk about it being our faith that is the victory that overcomes the world. Uh, Not that we um, kind of have a level of faith uh, demonstrated in saying the right prayers, going to the right churches, paying the right tithes, using the right formulas, that kind of prosperity gospel, name it and claim it, faith, but simply faith in that we cling to Jesus and trust in the good news, trust in the, in the gospel. That is where the victory is won, a victory that has overcome the world or overcome uh, the enemy of God so that fear is overcome. And that is why Those who believe in Jesus are the ones who have overcome the world. And that is why love conquers fear. Uh, Well, we will be back again for a future video to see more about how we have assurance of this.